this is the coming out of the crowd of Fevrida. Tony Star, Oloja Day. And it's a boxer that brings a whole lot of excitement. And you can hear the roar from the crowd. It is a crowd favorite. And he's come here with a lot of uh, crowd from his hood. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to that as well. Looking forward to a whole lot. You know, he's got this uh, colorful thing about himself as well. One of those guys who comes into the ring with the mask as well. In the red corner, Arab and B, power! Ojo! Oh, in the blue corner, he weighed in at 52.2 kilograms. He's at 15 fights, won 13, lost 2, 12 by knockout. Today, Tony Star on In the red corner, weighed in at 55.1 kilogram. Is that four fights? One, three. Three by knockout. Arabambi, power. Oh, Joe. Our judges are Shay George. Shegua De Sawyer, Tola Jacobs, and our referee is Tayo Olaifa. Good evening, guys. My name is Tayo Life, I just ref for this fight. I want you guys to protect yourself at all times. Listen to my commands at all times. And keep it clean at all times. Because yes. And of course, all is set for this first bout of the evening on Go TV Boxing Night, the 29th in the series. Tony Star, Elijah Depp. But this is a Rabambi. Rabambi power, they call him, Ojo. Against a former national champion and a former West Africa champion. A man in a gray and green. A Rabambi clad in all green and white and in Nigerian colors. And of course, his opponent, the more illustrious opponent, Tony Star. Roger De in grey and green as well as white trunk and the start is very very interesting to behold absolutely Ralph both boxes turning star not starting very explosively and uh, you could see power himself uh, that's talking about uh, Ojo uh, Kolawa, uh, Ojo is also trying to say you know what I'm not just there to be in the ring for you. Uh, try to fight back, but he's got his hands full, Rob. Well, most definitely, that's um, he's fighting his way out of that uh, corner. Well, there you have uh, the turning star going left and right combination, but uh, not most, not all, uh, landing there, trying to penetrate that guard. Uh, absolutely, and uh, I think Arabambi has done a great job so far. We know like, how explosive uh, a turning star can be, but. Uh, He's been able to, you know, you know, absorb all those punches. I know it's still very early, but he's putting up his guards, which is what a boxer should do at all times. But he's been able to penetrate uh, the guard of uh, Robin B a couple of times. I think he's a good body shot. Yeah, he's done that because of the fact that he's been able to exploit both sides. You know, he's using a lot of body punches as well, so that Araban, you can see that right there. You know, every time Araban guards himself, he's going for the body shot, and he's trying to make sure that he drops his guard. Got one in that time. And it seems to be going uh, downstairs and upstairs uh, all the time. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. 
Good strokes are just said, use the first one on the board. There you go. Uh, good one, two combination all landing from and good body shots are also coming from Tanning Style Lodger there. It's really working, absolutely getting the job done. And you can see every time he goes for the body, Arabandi drops his hands. And once he does that, you know, what he's trying to do right now, Allah Jade, is to like conserve his energy, wait for another time when he comes out explosively again. But so far, so good. I think we must give kudos to Ojo as well. He's done a great job in trying to contain uh, a very explosive boxer like Tony Stark. Well, he tried to release that and left. He's had it uh, so long and then it decided to release it, but it didn't quite land. It was a body shot that didn't do any damage. It's known as power. Lovely, good two, good one. two combinations there coming from Ojo, who's protected himself very well. You can see that, but he gets caught as well. Yeah, he seems to be telling himself, I stood there for too long, so it's time to have a duck. And he did that. End of the first round. And there you have uh, Araban B. Pa Ojo sticking out his hand to say he did well in that round. But this is the man the round belongs to. Absolutely. Tony Star takes that one, hands down. No doubt about that. But that's, it has to be said that that's from our corner here. We're still waiting. Uh, we'll have to wait till the end of the fight if he gets to that distance uh, for the final verdict from the judges. Some of the action from that first round. That's the body short. That one penetrating. One, two. Left, right. Well, most of the instructions are from the corner, drowned by the howlings from the crowd here. Very noisy crowd cheering every move as we enter the second round of the scheduled eight. Tony Star just continued the way he ended the first round. Yeah, uh, uh, if I were in his shoes as well, I would do the same. You know, when you put, when you succeed at him putting your opponent on the back foot, you want to keep him there all the time because you, you give him an opportunity to, you know, have more confidence and he's going to step up and you, know, you never can tell what punch can cause the damage. Yeah, well, Joe, um, who is known as Power, I think he's just been reserving that uh, he's uh, left. I think at different points he has to release it. There's yeah. an outpour. And, and funny thing is that, interesting is, is that Southpaws look like they have an upward advantage because most times when you're fighting and you're a conventional boxer, you, you will not expect credit when that left hand comes because you're used to fighting right-handed boxers all the time. Most definitely. And we saw that uh, with Zia Zhang when he banged uh, Joyce Elliott this morning. And it was another two-time and two knockouts uh, for Zanga over, uh, Joy over Joe Joyce. Yeah. That's a really sad one for Joyce's uh, career. He will bounce back. Yeah. Big man. Who's mother is a Nigerian. I better luck next time. Uh, that, 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 I don't think that will define his career. He's still got quite a lot of uh, fights coming up. But uh, of course, he will hurt him a bit. You know, he, he lost the first fight. Also through a knockout. And then he's come back again. And you know what Zhang said? That he will put him out of his career. And uh, of course, I know he's a, he's a strong man and i'm sure he'll be able to rise up from that and, sure. and go do bigger things sure he will. he's got 15 2 now back to the ring here the ledger there is still the turning star and turning all things around oh good one a good left from ojo but ojo needs to hurt him more he's not hurting uh uh um, a lot a lot you know whenever you throw one punch in the middle of like you've received so much like 10 punches he needs to do a lot more He's been doing a whole lot of defensive boxing, but he needs to do a lot more. Tunde Tony style lodger there. Really got it going. Good body 
show at that time from Ojo. But some of his punches are just pretty pop punches. End of the second round. Another good round that's going the way of... That's a man that just recently fought for the world. And yet, a, a, a very good friend of Ola today, and you can see him there wearing Team, team Tony Star. And, uh, there he went to Argentina and fought for the Pedestentro title. And of course, I lost it, the WB. Pedestentro, they call it. Pedestentro. Yeah. That's the, some of the action from that around. Seconds out. And you can see that on the landed, that left fly landed, and left hook that landed from Ojo. This man, we're going to the third round of Shadowed Eight. Box. And once again, power. I, I, I think power has been given an instruction to go for it as well. That you, you, you just cannot remain passive for like half of that this round. You need to come out and it does look like he's, he's, he's hitting the warning. But the problem, you can see lovely, two lovely combinations. Sends his opponent back. But, but he runs a risk of getting caught as well because he was protecting himself a lot more. And now he has to throw punches. It means he can't protect his face the way he was before. And that is where Olojade could try and change things as well. Olojade with a left jab. Ojo going for the big one. And now he's going to go flurry from him. Uh, some of them just pretty pat. But in a good one, Olojade comes back. Good boxers. Lovely one-two combination again. Nice one coming from both boxes. Oh, beautiful combination from all again, a lot of day. But that man has got a, a very strong chin, I must say. Talking about uh, Ojo and a lot of day going on the prowl right now. They are going give and take. Both of them are doing great job. I know it's still very early, uh, Ralph. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one there. But he wasted too much time. He should have followed up very quickly. And he's given Alonjade a good chance to recover from that. Alonjade was caught with that uh, soccer punch it was, I'll call it. But he's trying to come back to it. Lance a good left hook. He's, he's given Alonjade the opportunity to come. And, I, and I'm, I'm a bit surprised that, Lutra. you know, you rock your opponent Lutra. and you get involved in a whole lot of theatrics, stamping your foot to the ground. Starting without two dad, can you imagine? Are you kidding me? Very well spotted there by the referee. Tie your life up, because that's a big risk he's taking there. Unbelievable. Box. Wow. What was his corner thinking about? He could have caught himself in the process with his teeth and his... Devastating. Absolutely devastating. He was lucky that Olajere was not aware of that because if he had been, he'd have been looking for a very powerful punch to rock him. Olajere penetrated the guard once again that time with that combination. Nice combination also. Lovely combination coming from Ojo. But these two guys are just going for it, Ralph. Absolutely massive stuff. What a round. It's a big Ralph. It's a big round, Ralph. Very difficult to spot who takes this one. Absolutely difficult. Yes, yes, Ojo wrapped it. Olajade, but Olajade threw more accurate punches in his bag as well. But it's a very close one. That's a very close round for me. Uh, if only he had followed off uh, that big one he had, I would have been talking about something else. But he didn't follow off. He waited. And he allowed Olajade to get back to it. Let's take a look at the highlights. That's the big one that came, rocked him. Second one also followed. Not much follow up. We had that one, bang, it went. And that's it. That's the punch that rocked him. That should have gone for a count. That should have. He, 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 
Watch that foul again. That's that punch. Go for the kill. Stamping his feet. Oh, they're stamping his feet. Watch for. Rufus, Marlon, 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 Marlon. He's been inexperienced. Very, very inexperienced there. I mean, that fight would have been over by now. All he needed to do was follow up with that, and that's it. He should have gone for the kill. Absolutely, because he's trailing on the cards. It has to be said. Well, let's head into the fourth round of scheduled eight. That's a big left coming from a turning star who will want to correct, you know, the incident that happened in the, in the earlier round. This is round number four. We've still got four more to go after this. Ojo coming strong, coming back strong again. I think I like the I like the more aggressive Ojo than the defensive one. Oh, that's a big one there from Tony Star, but Ojo is still standing in there. He, you know, he just goes with all the body as solid as iron. And so when you're hitting at it, it looks like they're hitting an iron. <laughs> that's why they call him don't power. Push, don't push, don't push. And look at look at the shots from Tony Star. They are all bouncing, bouncing off him. Yeah. Very well conditioned boxer. Well conditioned. It's going to take a, 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 a lot more than a soccer punch to send him down. Nice. Oh, another lovely job there. Not well timed at that time from Don't Ojo. Oh, that nice that penetrated with that uppercut. Two boxers in a brawl out there now. Watch your head, guys. Good left jab from Roger there. Second one missed. Oh, good penetration. Good jab. Now it goes for the one, two. Second for that, a big one. Not able to land it yet, and Ojo comes back, trying to fight his way out of danger. Did that very well. Good job from Ojo. Now Oloja there. Oh, that's a big right hand from Oloja there. Uh, maybe not big enough. What happened? Oh, that's a good job coming from Ojo again. Power they call him. I'm sure Oloja Dev felt the power in that uh, third round. Big right. And, and Rav, like he said earlier, he's through the... Oh, catches him there. And uh, Oloja Dev lost his uh, balance there while trying to launch. And he needs to be careful because power has shown that he truly has the powerful uh, punches that can actually, you know, knock him out. So he needs to watch out. Stop. End of the round, uh, just in time, uh, he had to seize uh, landing that uh, big right that he wanted to. End of the round. Fourth round ended. Back into the ring and it's round number five of their very first of six bouts tonight. And if you're just joining us, it, it's eight rounds of uh, National Super Bantamweight Challenge. And uh, the boxers in the ring, uh, sporting the green uh, with the trimmings of white on the side, is the one they call Arabambi Power Ujo. And he's up against uh, the man with the trunks that's got green and white stripes on the side. The one they call the turning star who's on the ascendancy right now, Tunde Olojadi. You know, seriously, the man of Robin Bill Joe is not fighting like one who has only one fight, 
one win and one loss in his career. It's fighting like one that has been so experienced, you know, going. Yeah, I, I think he's one, of, he's one of those amateur boxers who's had a very illustrious amateur career and uh, probably uh, decided to go into professional boxing uh, maybe a bit late than he should have. But he's still young and he, he's still got a lot of time in his hands, I guess. Uh, look at the way he's been going against a former national champion and a former West Africa champion in a turning star, Oloja Day. Yeah, age is not necessarily on the side of Oloja Day as well. He's been there, done that, and he's also won the T-shirt as well. So, oh, lovely uppercut there coming from Oloja Day. But that man is still standing strong. <laughs> wow. What would it take to drop this man? But that was a great showing by Oloja Day there. Definitely that man was rocked. Uh, they could see the way he was just standing. Oloja Day should have uh, added more. Good body punch. You want to think that on the long run, those body punches will count. By the time you get to the sixth, seventh, eighth round, maybe, just maybe, because for now, <laughs> Arabambi doesn't seem to be fizzling out at all. That's another lovely left hook. And it does look like that his left jab is very elusive. Every time, Olajade does not see it coming. He's, he's just walking into it most of the time. That's what you have uh, with uh, most uh, south paws. But Olajade, he's been uh, doing very well. And, oh, that's uh, that was almost uh, below the belt there. I think uh, Ojo needs to be more precise. Absolutely. He's rushing a lot of his punches. And Olajade, wow! What's he doing? He swung his hands very... And that man is cutting in the corner again, but he's not doing anything yeah, to penetrate. Yeah, and they're not penetrating at all. That's yeah. a lovely job. I, I think power to a certain extent. The power is a bit, you know, this power level is dropping. And this is where a lot that they maybe could be able to, you know, get, oh, look at that. Look at those combinations coming. Body and also to the head as well. Good stuff coming from Olajade. Uh, who by... By what we have seen so far, seems to be uh, to have taken that round as well. That's been a very, that was a very good round for him and a very good way to come back from that third round, uh, near knockdown. Definitely, Ojo took a beating in this round. And of course, when he had the opportunity to really get back at it, uh, when Oloja just slowed down, he didn't quite uh, jump at it. When we come back into the sixth round, we'll go. Seconds out. Sit, guy. Sit, guy. All right, Abi. Coach. Box. Round number six. Now, Power is the man to throw the very first punch right now. And Don Lodjade seems to be employing some strategy now. I think he he's found out that, that uh, Power is very durable. And uh, I think he's trying to exploit the opportunity of letting power be the one to throw a lot of the barrages first. And that looked to have rocked him there. That miss by Oloje there. And he just uh, didn't quite uh, take that advantage to launch. He always allows Oloje uh, uh, there to recover. Yeah, I don't know why he does that. Oloje bringing up a different strategy. Not being an oh lovely lovely body punch there and he catches him again. Good body to head combinations. But very it's, this guy is just too durable. A lot of other boxers would have taken this and have gone down. Quick body shorts are there from a lot of day. Two good combination and good counter punching as well coming from uh, Ojo. It's time to go for the kill and he's been doing it. When he says that nothing, he shrubs it up. 
Now he penetrates again with a good right. But you see, my problem with this kind of situation is the fact that every time you say he didn't rock you, you're forgetting the fact that the judges have it scored down as a punch, ag punch against you. And that's what they need to stop. You need to stop the punches. Not trying well, to. That's a good left hook from a Roger there again. Misses a uh, Joe. Nothing powerful that time from him. And it's pretty much like everybody takes his turn, you know, dishing out the punishment. But then the one from the ones from Oloja there are more telling. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that's a massive one there. Massive right hook coming from Oloja there. And he lunges forward again. It's a big risk against this man who's got a very powerful right. Ah, but that man has taken a beat in tonight. Yeah, I, you, know, you know I said it that as the, as, the, as the fight wears on, the, the power level might be dropping and that's exactly what is happening right now. You can see that uh, power is not throwing those punches as much as he used he was doing in the first three rounds. The shots are just a pity pat. And look at that again, another nice straight up flush in the face. Double to downstairs and double upstairs for Lodger Day. End of the round. And Lodger Day knows what he's doing. He knows he's he knows it's a very tiring one, you can see there. Penultimate round of uh, the very first fight of Go TV Boxing Night 7. And uh, Ojo raising his hands up, getting excited. I think he wants to really come out and box in this round. A lodger in uh, should be prepared for war. And you can see right there in the background Ojo's uh, trainer telling him come forward. But he gets caught big time. And a lot of turning it, the screws right there. Oh, look at those combinations again. And Power has to go on the back foot again. Nice body punch. Lovely uppercut coming from Power. He's looking for that uppercut again. I think he needs to go back to the gym and of course uh, train his punches. Uh, they are not solid enough. But he's got Power in them. But it's not just a... Uh, throwing them as accurately as he should. Oh, good one from Oloja there. The center of the ring, a bit of them. Oloja there with those solid punches to the body. And uh, I must say, Ralph, that's one thing we've enjoyed here. These are two boxers who want to fight. We've not seen a lot of them, you know, clinching, grabbing hold of each other. They've literally come here to fight. And they've stayed in the, in the center of the ring far more times than they've gone to the ropes. And the Ojo man has got some solid uh, defense. Uh, but he's been penetrated uh, most times by a larger death. Look at that again. And another nice combination. But this guy, I don't understand. This, these punches are just bouncing off him like you said earlier. He's not looking rocked at all. Good, uh, solid uh, body shot uh, from Oloja there. There you have Oloja there, goal, but then 
Ojo finds his way out of danger. And you, and you just need to see the trainer of Ojo in the background there, spotting the red top. He is livid with Ojo. He's telling Ojo, release these punches. Let, let Thomas Jenny have it. Let him, yeah. feel, let him feel your power. Good camera shot that time. Absolutely. Yeah, the... Tooth guard off again this time. Uh, he, went, um, he, did, he did go off at the right time, yeah. <laughs> just at the end of the round. And from Ola Jerry's posture, it's a bit clear that, you know, he was spent in that seventh round there. Oh, that was the end of the round, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. The Belgians went at the right time. Yeah, sure. But, you know, he didn't know. Oh, so he was at the neutral corner. He was at the neutral corner. But, uh, <laughs> life, uh, him go to your corner. <laughs> So this fight is going down to the wire. Going to the eighth and final round. Just the opening up that guard and of course they're penetrating it. Absolutely, and you can see there again looking at him like I'm still standing. <laughs> I mean, you can see a bit of the inexperience in Ojo right there. Olaifa literally needed to use a rope to pull him and say, touch gloves. This is the final round. Now, let's see the strategy that uh, Olaifa, the more experienced fighter, would employ now. He knows he's got this in the back, bearing any knockdown or knockout. So he needs to be very careful. He knows what Ojo packs when it comes to those punches. So he needs to watch out. The referee of life are asking Ojo to bring it up. Eight and final round that it looks like Ojo is ready for war. that just understands what they have to do in this final round. Oh, that time they was going to land a big one, but didn't quite connect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I said earlier, uh, he knows, he's, uh, obviously, his camp should know that they are on the ascendancy in this one. Just play safe, fight safe. That's what he has to do. But you know, he's, he's an entertainer. He really wants to go out there and, enter and give the fans what they want, but he needs to be careful as well. a good right another good right and it goes a one two also all coming from Oloja there the turning star they call him now Joseph should have a pain in his mind until the new track on that wants to light a few a big body shot from Oloja there most of those punches are from Ojo, not quite penetrating. Wow. I like that runs away from danger. Sense that. You see, that's the problem. You know, every time power goes in there to try and kill things off. And it's finished. <laughs> wow. I, that's, that's, that's real crazy. These two, for, these two boxes mean each other. But, but then somebody has to be the winner. Well, we know there's draws as well, but this doesn't, it's not anywhere near being a draw round. Tony Style, Lodger, they definitely will get it. Uh, but then that young man, this young man, not showing any respect to the more illustrious, more experienced fighter in Tunde, Tony Style, Lodger, Absolutely. With, with a bit more 
good training. And I think it could turn out to be a very good uh, boxer going forward. So we'll just uh, hold on and wait for what decision will come from the judges. We have our results. Don't check my dish, you know. At this area, scores it 78 74. George Tola Jacobs scores it 63 79. George Shay George scores it 73 79. Winner by unanimous decision. Sude. Right, right decision. Right decision for the winner by unanimous decision there. Tune it on his uh, lodger there. That, that, that young man has a big future, and I'm pretty sure that that was what Olajade was just telling him that you've got it in you. You just need to believe in yourself. What a whole lot is still expected from that man. And there you have the former West Africa champion and the former national champion. The winner today by unanimous decision. Tunde Tony Star or Lord Jade. I uh, will be watching our next time. We'll be up for another bout of the evening. We'll have six bouts in all, one down. And this is what's coming.